What's up guys, Ryan Knows Tech here from techinform.us and today is the final day of the iLife 2009 suite overview. I know I've heard some good feedback about it, some bad feedback. Um, thanks for the good and thanks for the bad too. I actually do like to read that stuff. So this is the last day. Tomorrow I think we're going to get back into the desk tour request. Not totally sure. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Anyways, today is the last program of uh, iLife, which is iDVD. I'll admit, I just spent 10 minutes looking at the application. I have never used it before. I've never opened it before. So everything that we're talking about today was just learned by a tech savvy individual in the last 10 minutes. Super simple. Those are my two words to describe the program. So you open it up, you get some options here. You get a one step DVD. That's really simple if you just want to make a DVD. There's magic DVD. I didn't do a whole lot in that, but you, it's a little bit more uh, advanced. I guess you can change your themes here of, uh, of what you're going to do with it. I suppose I should explain. Uh, IDVD, you know when you get a DVD, for, DVD from a friend or, or movies, obviously they're not made in IDVD, but like Hollywood movies, you put the movie in, it goes through a little intro and it gives you scene selections, play, languages, uh, screen setup, all that information. It's kind of the same idea here with IDVD. It's the idea to have an intro with buttons and scene selections and, uh, and stuff like that for your movie. And it's really easy to set up. So go to create a new project. We're going to do widescreen 16 by 9 because that's better. Give it a name. Choose where you save it. How about the desktop so I can delete it in 10 minutes. Click on create. And here it is. Here is your uh, default page of, uh, of what this looks like. Um, this is what your intro is going to look like here. You get a bar to drag that along and see what it looks like. Um, we'll come over here first. These are all your themes you can use. You've got 7.0 themes, 6.0 themes, old themes. Let's take a look at all of them today. Um, you can go through and change them. Super easy to do. Um, most of them are pretty similar. And uh, some of these have music, but I have my speakers turned off right now. So, uh, really, there it is. You know, you get uh, this thing here. You can change your name. Click up here. There's your text. We'll make this IDVD, double click, IDVD uh, review. Your font, your size or, uh, or text uh, preferences, and there's your size, and your font type is there. So how easy is that? And I think you can move it around too, like that. And then that's going to change all your text for stuff like that. Uh, also, see these things here, highlight and yellow and black? That is a drop zone. A drop zone is where you can, guess what, drop stuff. And to put stuff in or out of it, you, down on the bottom right here, you have themes, buttons, and media. Go over to media. Let's go up to photos. And how about we drag in um, this picture of the beach in Aruba. Let's drag that into the drop zone. And there it is. And that's going to display on all of uh, these little sliding things here. So that looks pretty cool. That's all one drop zone, so unfortunately, with this theme, you can't have uh, more than one different drop zones. Because uh, as you can see, if I change one like that, it changes them all. So uh, we'll go over this stuff down at the bottom here. Plus, that's going to add a submenu, add a movie to play after this, or a slideshow, or whatever you want to put after it. I is going to be your inspector in good Apple uh, fashion. If you want your intro, you can keep that on or off. Your loop duration, 30 seconds, is probably good for default. Then here's your audio track there. I'll see if we can get that going. Actually, I have it plugged in the headphones, so we'll plug, unplug that. So there's your music. You can bring music in from iTunes, from anywhere on disk, or use the sample stuff. Mixer here for your volume. And then uh, your buttons. You can add buttons. You can do free positioning or have it snap to a grid, which is nice. Highlight colors here. Uh, all kinds of different colors. There's your crayons. Um, just so easy to do all of this. Down at the bottom here again, uh, you have this thing that looks like a network icon. This is kind of a hierarchy of what it's going to look like from where it starts to where it ends. That's a nice way to view it. You can also click on here. goes that way. Change the size of that. Nice way to manage it. Click on that again to turn it off. This middle button here is your play button for a loop. So you can have it keep playing on or off. There, that's going to bring up uh, more options. These are your drop zones. There's your main menu. Drop zone one. We'll go back to photos, and uh, we'll drag a place, a picture from the hotel there. So that's that's pretty nice there too. Here's your uh, your volume, pretty standard. And there's just a play button if you want to play and pause it. Now the unique thing about this play button is it actually shrinks that down and gives you a player. So this is exactly what it's going to look like when you publish it. Click on uh, exit to go back. 
there it is. Themes, we talked about that. Buttons, you can add buttons here. Uh, just lots of different kind of buttons you can have to, to take you somewhere in the movie. Frames, lots of different uh, rectangles and all kinds of stuff you can use for buttons. Um, media, pretty uh, self-explanatory. Your audio, you can have whatever kind of audio you want there. Photos, browsable from iPhoto. And then your movies, which can also be uh, from iMovie or on disk, Aperture, iPhoto, anywhere you have movies, photo booth, iTunes. Uh, pretty simple. Last button here, click on that, and that's going to go ahead and, uh, well, tell me I have errors in my project. But if you didn't, if you actually cared to try to set this up, that would publish or burn your DVD to your DVD. So it's that easy. Give it a name, put some stuff in, your drop zones, change your theme if you want. And that's, that was a pretty basic theme. There's tons of themes here. Notice these grayed out ones are not downloaded, so you'd have to go download those. They're probably not very big files. Um, we'll take a look at some of these different themes here, see what these look like. Here's one called Soft Frame. And that one doesn't have any music in it because I didn't put any music in it. Um, cinema. Lots of them here. And some some of them have different drop zones than other ones do. That one has a little disco ball thing on it. Looks like it has at least one drop zone there. We'll click that. Yep, one drop zone. Go to another theme. How about Sunflower? There it is. And uh, yet again, one drop zone. So you can drag whatever picture you want in there, name it up here, and move it around. So, super simple application. I know a lot of people say it needs to come a long ways. I think Apple could definitely add some stuff to it, but as far as making it look better or more uh, easier to use, I don't really think it needs it. So, iDVD, I've never used it. If I ever need to make a DVD, this is definitely going to be the first place I come. So, uh, not having ever used this, I can't tell you if it actually works or not, but I would guess that it does. If it doesn't, and I try it later, I'll definitely make another video touching on that. So that's iDVD in the iLife 2009 suite. Um, if, you if you've watched all four or five videos, however many I've made, thanks a lot. Um, leave your feedback below, or requests for upcoming videos. Also very welcome in the comments below. That'll conclude this video. Um, be sure to check out our website, www.techinform.us. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. A little bonus for the comments here. If you want to leave a comment, what city is this desktop wallpaper? Give you a hint, it's not near Cleveland. Uh, and then the last thing, uh, be sure to catch us live on Tuesday nights from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time on ustream.tv slash user slash tech inform us. Thanks, guys. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in Friday's video. Bye.